and we will continue with our last presentation of the day. And uh, that will actually be me with uh, more adventures in railroad aerial photography. So this little, this little, this is a bunch of pictures that are going to run through real quick. We'll start off on the Sockville subdivision of the Canadian National with a photograph taken from my driveway. Well, at least I was operating the drone uh, of a train tied up here in Sockville. Here's uh, CN's Pride of the Fleet, the 5287 and SD70, uh, SD40, 5286, another Pride of the Fleet, switching charter manufacturing, crossing the Cedar Creek in Cedarburg. And the same unit uh, with the engineer giving us a wave going past Mequon Park in Mequon. Let's pop up to Manitowoc real quick, running the uh, WC unit in April. Then uh, a couple years earlier, they were running a GP9. So I got up there with the drone for, for, for this guy. A little higher elevation shot with Manitowoc Public Utilities there in the background. And then shoving up the uh, the former Northwestern Main Line, uh, going up to Rockwood. This uh, Escanaba, uh, one little branch, uh, discontiguous to the rest of the presentation. Now we'll start on the Waukesha sub and work our way up towards Duluth, on the uh, on the CN. And here we are at Camp Lake and Center Lake, and then at Burlington crossing the Fox River with a, a southbound train on the CN. Now this is around Allenton, Wisconsin, with the drone. Of course, these are all pictures taken with the drone. I like to get these uh, shots of uh, water features. Little, This is a creek. It looks like it's a creek, but it's actually a rock river um, near Allenton, north of Allenton, Wisconsin, just south of the marsh siding. The northbound train with perfect light. And then a northbound 510 with a crazy lash of power. A meet at Marsh Siding. And then a bunch of pictures at one of my favorite spots, the Theresa Marsh. And a uh, little bridge crossing the Rock River there at the mouth of the marsh. Mile post 138 in a variety of uh, lighting conditions, variety of seasons, variety of water conditions. Other direction, southbound train. Places susceptible to flooding in the springtime, and even in the uh, aftermath of a heavy thunderstorm, fairly turbulent water going through there. It is one of my favorite locations, the uh, DNR parking lot right there. That looked like a fairly chilly day a couple of years ago. A couple of barns hustling a southbound. flooded, yet you still see the serpentined Cummel Creek there. With the drone, you can get high, like as high as a water tower. It's one of my favorite shots. I usually like to get a little lower, but the uh, colors here were great. Love those two lone trees. Went back there a month later, and a tornado had come through and taken the one of them. That's L508 train there waiting to get on single track, meeting this northbound. Jamie Hybers is on the ground there. A couple of demonstrator units or lease units on this southbound train. And a northbound train with some SD40s shoving on the rear of a, a southbound. Coming down the hill into Byron. Another shot from a an angle nobody sees except with a drone. Downtown Fond du Lac with uh, 
NS Heritage Unit. And this is Fond du Lac itself. North end of Fond du Lac Yard, Lake Winnebago in the background. This is closer up to Van Dyne. A train leaving and a train coming in. Lake Winnebago in the background. This is up north of Nina around Hortonville, the Medina Swamp. This is the Tomorrow River at Amherst. And uh, the Wolf River at Gill's Landing. An overview of Junction City and its uh, four, uh, four position uh, connections there at the junction. This is the Popple River. And this is the Flambeau River at Ladysmith. I have a couple of shots of this, this river here. And then a, a quick shot of a, a train on the Bradley sub about seven miles east of um, Ladysmith is a log loading facility at, at Tony. Here we are crossing the Flambeau. This is a Swift Creek up near uh, Lemington. Another view of the same creek a year later. Gorgeous fall colors. That's the Chippewa River. An old Sioux Line bridge near Sand Lake. It's a fairly new bridge near Bass Lake, north of uh, Stone Lake. This is the St. Croix River. And a quick trip to our friends at the Wisconsin Great Northern and their unit tied up in Hayward. This is approaching the Chittimo siding northbound. This is uh, just north of the Chittimo siding northbound. It just looks like North Woodsy around Gordon. And on the former DM and IR, uh, Steelton in the background there, approaching Pokegama. Now let's uh, shoot down the CP on the river sub around Welch. This is uh, the Zumbro River near Wabasha. And crossing the Mississippi at La Crescent. Another view of the same bridge following day. Tunnel City, about the only way you can see a train exiting the, the tunnel portal is with a drone. This is near Doylestown with a mostly empty stone train. At the Reeseville Swamp, at the Reeseville Marsh, an empty oil train going back west. This gets uh, filled up with water during a flooding event. The 199 train runs like clockwork. An Amtrak in relatively high water during a flooding event. Watertown, Wisconsin, Stone Arch Bridge, and Duplainville. And a bunch of rail fans at Duplainville. In the background of this picture, if you see in the, the woods there, a bunch of people, those are the, the board members of the Wisconsin chapter of the NRHS at Neil and Kathy's house. Right. Oil train eastbound, another oil train eastbound, crossing under the Northwestern. And why don't we switch over to the Northwestern now for a little bit. Marsh job coming back with a bunch of cars. A Sheboygan empty hopper train going back to the mines, crossing over the CP. Hey, look at that. Huh, it's a big boy. <clears throat> this is a, a UP train with CN power. And another Sheboygan empty coming back. I went up high for this shot, get a little bit of the uh, Lake Michigan in the background there. LPA 79 or whatever it's called now. Another empty coal train closer to Sheboygan. This is a, at Stall Road in Sheboygan, coming back with the second half of the train. Some tie, power tied up at Sheboygan, including four units on a coal train, which is kind of unusual. 
crossing the, the, the Sheboygan River, the local job up there. Another water tower shot with a oddly timed and oddly consisted um, climbing job. Another train on the climbing sub about a year ago. This is the bridge over the Wisconsin and Southern. Kind of got an interesting, daring view looking down into some hoppers. Same train a little earlier in the day around Dalton. Some of the grubbiest power on UP's fleet, but at least we had a, a gleaming thing come by shortly thereafter. This is uh, on the CN. We are flying over the WC or the Wizard uh, mainline. This is uh, north of Stockville crossing the Milwaukee River. 10.03 from a drone. On the WSOR, this is passing a small lake near Random Lake on its way towards, well, that's Random Lake in the background there. On its way to, to Plymouth and storage. Borden's former smokestack there at the former Borden's plant. This is Bemis in Sheboygan Falls and in Horicon, putting a, gra a grain train together. I think Nate Beecher was the conductor that day. Here we are in Ishpeming. I was out there with Bob. You know, we got some shots of uh, some guys uh, spotting the, uh, the coal dock at Marquette on the LS and I. With a, a view that you really can't see except from a drone up there a few weeks later and uh, a lake boat being loaded up with the uh, pellets now let's go to oklahoma real quick a shot of the former santa fe this is the one piece of single track still on the bnsf and uh fairly new bridge west of kansas city here we are in paola kansas past August. And uh, on the former Santa Fe near Leeds, Illinois. That's the, uh, the Edelstein connection, which is now unused. Crossing the Spoon River at the Hinda and eastbound. Here's Media Trestle, the new one. Gigantic trestle. And then up in Superior, the uh, Su Superior to Northtown train with Sequential SD-70s. A uh, CP train northbound on trackage rights. Let's follow the river down around Maiden Rock. Gorgeous shot this past June along the Mississippi River and the bluffs in the background. This is at Trempolo, Wisconsin, and Perot State Park. This was uh, taken last week in Trempolo. Looking up from the river. And here we are a little south of La Crosse with gorgeous light. Southbound train south of La Crosse along the Mississippi at Genoa. Near Wheatland, south of Genoa, Genoa, around Linksville. And then finally, we'll end our program with a shot around Wyalusing, Wisconsin. And that is the end of my presentation. Exceptional. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Any questions for me? Thanks, everybody. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, Jerry. Around Theresa there. Yes. How is the shooting for us landlubbers that don't like to get more, much more than tiptoe high? Well, you don't want you don't want to go in the river, but there's there's plenty of good opportunities right around uh, the marsh there at Theresa. Uh, it's worth a trip, uh, and it's super easy to get to. 
and there's a DNR parking lot there that uh, you're basically welcomed. So yeah, I, I, I'd go there. I'd make the trip. Mike, are you talking about the old, where the boat launch is? Uh, not far from the boat launch. Okay. Uh, a little closer to the tracks. Yeah, okay. I know you're talking about. Yeah. All righty. Uh, so we're going to leave the, um, the room open for anybody who want, wishes to chit chat amongst yourselves uh, mm -hmm. for, for the next 20 minutes or an hour or three, whatever. Uh, thank you all for participating tonight. I will say, uh, if you have not yet joined the Wisconsin chapter of the NRHS, please consider supporting us with a, uh, with a, uh, oh. bless you, Bob, with a quick and easy uh, membership. You can do that by going to www.nrhswis.org. John Egan, you asked what drone am I using? And I am uh, using the uh, DJI Phantom 4 Pro right now. Any other questions? Thank you all. Mike, for what kind of uh, camera are you using on that drone? The uh, the camera that came with the, that that's mounted to it, Jim. It's uh, it's it it it's the factory DJI camera. It is not interchangeable. Okay. 